Senator Rubio. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and to the ranking member. Uh, before I get to my question, Mr. Chairman, my, uh, in the first panel, uh, one of the um, individuals that appeared before us uh, mentioned me in connection with efforts in the 2016 presidential primary. I am not prepared to comment on that, and uh, any information on that issue hopefully will be reflected in our report, if any. Uh, I do think it is appropriate, however, to uh, divulge to the committee, since a lot of this has taken a partisan tone and not in the committee, but in the broader perspective, the following facts. Um, in July of 2016, uh, shortly after I announced that I would seek re-election to the United States Senate, former members of my presidential campaign team uh, who had access to the internal information of my presidential campaign were targeted by IP addresses uh, with an unknown location within Russia. That effort was unsuccessful. I'd also inform the committee that within the last 24 hours, uh, at 10.45 a.m. yesterday, uh, a second attempt was made, uh, again, against former members of my presidential campaign team who had access to our internal information, again targeted from an IP address from an unknown location in Russia, and that effort was also unsuccessful. Um, my question to all the panelists. Um, I have heard a lot on the radio and on television an advertisement for a firm in the United States actively marketed in Best Buy and in other places by the name of Kaspersky Labs. There have been open source reports, uh, which I can cite from, that basically say that Kaspersky Labs has a long history connecting them to the KGB's successor, the Russian Security Services. I have a Bloomberg article here and others. I would ask the panelists, in your capacity as experts in information technology, would any of you ever put Kaspersky Labs on any device that you use? And do you think any of us here in this room should ever put Kaspersky Labs um, uh, products on any, of our pro on any of our devices or computers or IT uh, material? I think uh, the way I'd address that is generally people's products are better based on where they're most located and what attacks they defend against. For example, uh, most you know you think about Symantec or McAfee or my company and other companies. We are prominently used in the U.S., so we get to see the best attacks from China cyber espionage campaigns in Russia. In the Middle East, it's already in massive escalation mode, and we're all prominent there. I think what we're starting to see is an alignment where. You know, Japan will let a U.S. company secure Japan. South Korea will let a U.S. company defend South Korea. The Middle East will let a U.S. company defend it. But you almost see lines being drawn. Uh, there's no doubt the efficacy of Kaspersky's products, they probably get to see uh, different things than we see being this relevant here. Yeah, my question was not yeah. about whether there's an effective tool. My question about is whether right. you would ever put it on your computer. I, I, my answer indirectly would be there would be better software probably available to you than Kaspersky to defend you here. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll answer by no, I wouldn't, and I wouldn't recommend that you uh, do it either. There's better capabilities here that you can use. Uh, FireEye, for example, and I'm being credited now with that. No. Uh, there are other U.S. firms that answer and solve problems that will face you for the issues that you described earlier, Senator that I think would be better at blocking them? I would, yes. I would also use uh, competing products at the same time. That's always a bit of redundancy, never harms. But uh, it's important to say that Kaspersky is not an arm of the Russian government. Uh, if public evidence, uh, um, if we look at the publicly available evidence, Kaspersky has published uh, information about Russian uh, cyber attack, uh, cyber intrusion campaigns, digital espionage, about several different Russian campaigns. Name any American company that publishes information about American digital espionage. My second question to the panel.